guys had committed themselves to doing, yes, it was 2003, 2002, Ford that had been tampering with, tinkering with doing uh, uh, an electric car had an issue. Uh, they felt this realized, long story short, anyway, they decided to scrap their electric vehicles. They had about 2,000 of them in the market in the US, and they scrapped all of them. So these two guys, one of them had worked on that uh, project before, said, we can do this thing. And so they started working on the electric car, and they spent some time doing research, spent some time working on it, and they found out the biggest problem with the electric car is the battery. When you have fuel, you can buy fuel anytime. But once you have a full tank, you can go a long distance. With the battery of the electric vehicles, if the battery doesn't give you, it's called enough range, right? You, you, for a car to be good, if you filled it up, it should take you at least 100 kilometers, something like that. So these two guys were looking for money to finish up the car and make it commercial. Are you guys with me? Are you with me? Okay, I'm trying to tie it to the workshop. And they f came to Elon Musk in their bid to raise funding and said, they pitch to different people. Sometimes it will take them 30 minutes, sometimes it will take them one hour, sometimes multiple days. And when they were telling Elon Musk about the electric vehicle that they were working on, in two minutes, the guys, Elon Musk goes, I, I get it, I understand what you're trying to do. I've thought about this before. And the story goes on. And today, we all, some of us know the company called Tesla, right? Beautiful, that's the electric vehicle car that we all know Elon Musk owns. So, I was in one of the workshops today, and he was talking about idea generation, Dr. Aderinto. And he says, some of the ideas of startups that you have, others have the same idea. Some of the ideas of startups that you have, others have even tried it, and some didn't work out. It's not saying that all the ideas have been had before, it just lets you know that sometimes you have a great idea, but others also have it. So it's how you approach it that makes it work. And so that was what Adirinto was talking about. Then I step into JD's session with Uche, and then they're talking about how to get the startup going. And so we go from idea generation, we've gone past that now, idea validation, we're going to MVP. <laughs> JD's session. Okay, I can see. So let us now demand to get out. That story about Tesla is to land where we are now. We want to demand that somehow, somehow, after this ODES, we need to be given the opportunity to go through those courses. Again, if you are with me, can I see your hand? Oh, oh JD, look around, look around. If you are with me, can I see your hand? Just turn around, turn around, turn around. Okay, okay. So, so we are getting some sort of obligation and confirmation for them that after ODS 2, before ODS 3, in fact, before the end of the year, if possible, we want to go through those sessions and not miss anyone. Because you can't go through those two I just mentioned. And you won't have, ladies and gentlemen, ODS1, we had 18 speakers. We had um, six lightning talks. We had two keynote speakers. We had one day, ODS2. We have two days. Today's, today's day two. We've had about, we have 10 lightning talks. We've had one keynote, two keynotes um, done. And we are having 33 speakers and panelists. So if you are here, you are at the right time, at the right place. So to get us started at 12.08, please welcome with me Bimbo Adegoke as we take the national anthem together. Good morning, let's rise.
inside. <laughs>
started. So we really appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Back to the question. My own number of years in this job is just like a pinch of salt. But the little thing I've seen as an entrepreneur and uh, reading to unlock what is hidden is a function of interest. Interest? Is a function of interest. Prof said something yesterday about UNESCO WHO. It's because it has interest in solving a problem. So if you have a passion and interest in solving anything, the information will come. The only problem that we have is that if you want to be superficial about it, if you don't want to be detailed, because if you don't understand the beginning, and that's why I'm going by what Prof said, the curriculum is not nonsense. If you don't understand the basic, the foundation, there is no house, the house will collapse. So coming to school to learn, the lecturer just give you the basics. You need to build on it. Ex what Prof is doing is no, there is no nano during his own career in school. Yeah. Throughout my PhD, nobody taught me how to design vaccine. It's true inclusiveness and trainings upon trainings. So if you really want to find solution to something, you need to dig deep. There was a day, Prof was talking. He said, for real study, real study, you know, when we call, talk about the real innovation, the real one, I saw an example in the class today that have you heard about Toyota company organizing workshop how to produce car? <laughs> no. You can't. That is where students get it wrong. Can't. Or you see HP, Microsoft, now say there is workshop. Come and learn how to do laptop. It's not possible. That is what we call IP, intellectual property. So for you to bring out a concept, to bring out a concept, to understand the basics, you need to dig deep. Then understanding yourself. For instance, the language of American textbook is different from British textbook. British textbook, yeah. So once I, as an individual, have understanding of my strength, I know the kind of textbook to go for. They are saying the same thing, but their languages are quite different. So with that, I will be able. Then, you see, one of the culture that we don't have now is the reading culture. The reading culture. Yes. Because all these gadgets, WhatsApp, TikTok, that's why our attention span is reducing gradually. That's true. As we talk about tech, if you don't manage it properly, it could do more damages than the good. So for us to go back, the letter world, we need to go back and read deep and consult many textbooks. And now we have access to download as many textbooks as we want. Not comparing to prof time that you have to go to Lorraine and Ibadan. Ibadan. <laughs> yeah, I remember when Prof was telling me, even for publication, if you want to publish, you post. In the next six months, you are yet to hear from your reviewer to send back to you again. For you to make another correction, you post back again. Wow, wow. Not now that you... And that is also a missing link. As tutors, we should be able to stimulate their interest. Exactly, sir. Yeah. I always tell my student, knowledge is one. It is our inability to comprehend everything that made us to be what? Slicing knowledge. What was digital economy? 1990. <laughs> we are the only means of communication. If you cannot see face to face, 
will be true. So, it, it has come. We have created a new knowledge around it. So, whatever you have, hold on to it. Many people are distracted. Uh, I want to do medicine, and once it is not medicine, as if you are the one that will start medicine, or that will end the medicine profession. I wanted to become a mathematician. Wow. <laughs> It was when my, somebody told my father that it was a mathematics that I failed in the jam for them. Ah, it's a robo. But it has a reflection on me. There is no problem that I cannot crack when it comes to quantitative interpretation. And that has been assisting me. I found myself in biology. I said, well, I have to do well. If you cannot do well in biology, how will you do well in medicine? If you cannot do well in English language, how will you be able to communicate? So you have to be good in everything. Whatever you are, whatever you are doing now, please don't let that one destroy the future. Make good out of it. And then continue to develop yourself. For us, we continue to stimulate their interests. We continue to tell them good things. We continue, Kola will remember, there is no class I will go to, I will tell you something that you can take home, if you are ready to listen. So that you can do it. You can do it. You can do better. You can still have a space for yourself. But the interest must also come in. You should be able to identify a mentor, custodian. That is very, very important. We can see that education is being relegated to the background. And you have a lot of... We are not going to be agile forever. So what you have done, the question that you have asked me, you, already, you have already answered it. You have brought some of them and I think they will go back. No? The first time I followed somebody to OAU, I said, this is university. Wow. <laughs> that was after I had finished secondary school. Wow. In 1989. Said, university. And I was just looking at that thing has, you know, a lasting impact. Right. On me. So individually, we continue to engage them. In said, education is a scam. I saw that on the WhatsApp status of somebody. I said, see me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I now told him something, and that is where I'm going to stop. I said that, do you know tomorrow? I can be in a study. <laughs> And I remember my petty column cash book. <laughs> yes. Yes. And now, as I enter the room, I need to apply that. This one, I don't need this one. Tomorrow, you might bite your finger. So, in, in having, having interest, interest, we really, really want, want to know, know it. it. And, and one thing I want to tell students is that, is that you, need you need to learn how to sacrifice. sacrifice. Elders ...and how to serve the elders. It, there is a law. It's not a if you don't do it, you can't get there. Arturo, um, earlier when Timandov was giving his keynote, he talked about attracting talent and making them stay. So one of the things that, uh, just as uh, Professor Latif has mentioned, is that he actually stimulates interests in his own lectures and amongst his students. So it means that what we need is like 
multiplied Professor Latifs or multiplied Professor Lucas. Like we need those caliber of people that can stimulate the interest. Highly cerebral people, people who have walked the talk. So from your perspective, Arturo, um, how do you, how can, how can higher education institutions attract high quality, uh, you know, faculty members, you know, and make them Is that I will challenge you. Natural sources on uh, in that I want to study art. And then she really encouraged me all the way. And uh, to the glory of God, a labor over me has not been in vain. And Ray Baba, you know, we met here in Obumosho also um, a couple of years ago, I think around 2016. 16 or there about 15 16 when we first met here in Obumosho and when I came back to Obumosho uh, 2021 you know we've been talking he used to tell me a lot of things about Konkere how ah, broche this Konkere dream this Konkere you go Kiniko let's tell a story let's do this off I don't know too many pitch but imagine that this was a pitch you know to see us as and where Obumosho should be in people's mindsets when they take your place uh just as we call up the next person, uh, we have another lightning talk. Uh, and a quick word. Um, uh, if you're one of our partners and sponsors, you know yourself, I can just call your name down. And can you have somebody, a representative here, that can give a short one minute uh, talk? Please let me know. Because after this, we you know, have some feedback from our sponsors. Our sponsors, for this, please clap for them. Please clap, please clap for them, them, clap for them as I call their names. Because they budget foundation, round of applause for them, with our sponsors, and then for our partners, we have Ajeb Sound, we have Conquere, we have Emmanuel Pixels, we have Lexi Records, we have Amazing Springs. All right. I don't know if I mentioned why a pitch should be brief. It's, it's not, not because we're trying to punish you. It's because usually the person who has enough resources to answer you, his time is very limited. That's the only reason. It's not because you wouldn't do a better job in 30 minutes. It's that if you cannot get a commitment or catch the interest in one minute, no matter how good you are, you don't leave an impression on that person. Okay, so uh, our next speaker is... We'll start with his bios, Mr. Ayola Ojo, and he will be speaking on exploring light scale manufacturing for domestic and international markets. Ayola, a polymath, blends industrial and creative design with entrepreneurship and a passion for innovative storytelling. With a food science degree from Lautech, He's pursuing an MBA at Coventry University. He is a patent holder, known for his detachable cooking pot, which showcases his commitment to practical solutions. He's the CEO of Tenpas Limited, a luxury manufacturing company, crafting bespoke furniture. He founded Befreak Limited and acquired a CNC router to revolutionize African furniture and decor his vision is to industrialize Africa with globally appealing products. Beyond business, he's a sci-fi writer, believing in the power of storytelling for change. Currently residing in Lagos, he's happy in Alright, good afternoon everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, welcome, over. And um, to every speaker here, to every amazing person who has contributed to this so far, thank you very much. My name is Ayala Ojo. I graduated from Food Science, Food Science Department. Any, anyone?
question. Um, okay, so can not those who know me, can anyone guess what country we got this from? Just two suggestions. Where we got this from? Very quick. Iran, okay. Someone just just tell me what what country do you think we purchased this piece from? What about this? Nigeria. <laughs> Clap for yourself. Okay. Alright, so um, please can you go to the next slide? I'm going to be talking about exploring mini scale manufacturing. And um, let me use my story very fast. So, luckily enough, um, this is a detachable cooking pot. I created 2012. So what it means is that I was in school, I was staying in general, and I hated the time I have to spend to cook. So I was wondering what if I can be cooking rice and frying this tea at the same time. Anybody has that feeling? So I just I just went like, like let me create the pot where I can cook rice, I can cook beans and be frying stew at the same time. That's possible, is it not? Okay, so this is 2011. This is still me, 2023. So we created this at our factory in Lagos. All right, so my story started by. Then I noticed that a whole lot of other students were also supposed to produce similar pieces. So what I did was I calculated their transport fare. If they want to go by themselves, they will spend 400. Okay, so let me charge them 300 because they will still spend transport fare and still have to buy the metal. So I decided to supply the metal. That's how everything started. So after doing that, I came to Lautech. I joined food science. Uh, I was actually laughing at those who were doing food science until I joined them. I joined through uh, direct entry. Then, some years down the lane, I started producing a drink in school. They called it drink quencha. It tastes exactly like lacassera. So, I was studying food science. Then, I went into yogurt production. Then, what else? Okay, so where are we going to? The first thing is that everybody at some point has an idea about something. You have an idea about what can be done differently. Either it's the seat you are sitting on, either it's the clothes you're wearing, either it's the seat, either it's the air you are using. There is a way things can be done differently, and that's where it starts from. So at some point, I created a footwear that you could turn to a slight sandal, you could turn it to an half shoe, a full shoe, just one piece, just the same sole. The same sole, but you can turn it to a slight sandal, you can turn it to a slight shoe. Now, the difference between the people is that when I get an idea, is that when I get an idea, I do something about it. And bulk of the time, it's my pocket money that suffers. Because I probably use all the money Practically, yeah. this I've done. I did. There's a project we did at one point. Yeah. How many of us know Bill Gates? Bill Gates was it? Yeah, it's okay. So you know that they they place stickers on them to advertise. Okay. okay so I thought, what if I'm able to change the slide on the body of the BLT such that instead of one company advertising, eight companies can advertise? I created that. It's on YouTube, real works. Although marketing it is another game, game plan, so we are not going to go into that. I'm just trying to encourage us to do something. Now, I went ahead and created the device. 
And what I do, work of the time, I'm not a very technical person. You know, I said I studied full science. A whole lot of how this thing works and lastly before i go i came with um, my class rep when i was in fsc Xiong. can you <laughs> wave to them so we work together in our factory now and we'll be looking for from ogomo show thank you very much week um and i'm sharing some of these little experiences to let you know okay that or thank you all right and in case you're wondering how important all and wonder is i'm just going to share with you so you can just take a break from work and look at the birds right when you read the bible for instance i read the bible you always see things like beyond the birds they do not worry they do not do this and yet they always have food to eat Right? That's one of it. Some of us would always say someone like Solomon was the wisest man in the Bible. And yeah, what was one of the things that Solomon really said, or one of the wisest men in the world, that made us say he was wise? He would say things like, can you look at the ants, right? And how they are very industrious and things like that. So when... This is how I was looking, August 2023. Have you done that? Now, after that, you are now going to go to 20,400 people in this auditorium and take a selfie with them. Tell them this is the last time you have the opportunity of taking a selfie. If I were you, I would go to the speakers, everybody, take a selfie. Make sure you take a selfie because the next time you see me, you may not have opportunity to take a selfie with me. Come on, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. And we are going to go on social media. We are going to put these pictures on. We are going to put all our hashtags. And we will say, this is the best you saw this year. You are seeing me this year. But by 2024, I will be a better person. Go ahead and take a selfie. Make sure you don't take anybody's food. Or somebody said this is just take a selfie. Aha. Come on, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Odes twenty twenty-three. Odes twenty twenty-three. Oh sure. We are going higher. We are going to have industries. Before now, before 2024, we are having industries. We are having spaces. Come on, take a selfie. You have just reached 19,000 now. 19,000. There are 20,000 people in this auditorium. Go ahead and take a selfie. Those of you who don't have a phone or a camera, just leverage on somebody and take a selfie. Wow. Now I want everybody to give. Your camera has disappeared, are you sure?
Gosa for ODES 2023. Gosa. I can't hear you. Three Gosa for 20. ODES 2023. One to go. Aha. Okay. Okay. I think. Uh, please let's be seated. Let's be seated. You can now go back. The photo is okay. It is okay. It is okay. I am telling you. I am coming. Everybody say, I am coming a brand new person. Somebody say, thank you, Odes. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, now you can go and sit down. It's okay. JD has taken too many pictures now. All right, you can go and sit down. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think uh, we are now going to... Please, let's celebrate our own part. Please, can you... Our super international... I see you. I did it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Ah, Obama needs it. Obama is having it. You will need it. If, you, if Obama wants that program to go very well, to go very well, you will need it. Let's make sure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are so proud of you, sir. So, so, so proud of you. So, once again,